Hi, it's Selena. All right, today we're going to be talking about packing toiletries. And there's a few things to consider at the very beginning before you even start packing is number one, how long is your trip? And what are your, um, what are your activities? What are you gonna be doing for that trip? So um, what you wanna do is you wanna make it as easy as possible when you're going on the trip. So make it easy to get things together. And then when you come back, you want to make it as less of a hassle as possible. I know for me, when I get back from a trip, I am not an unpacker. So if I have a late fight, flight, especially, and I have to be up early the next morning for a meeting or something, I want to just get home and just be home without having to unpack and like all my stuff is there. So that being said, it's really convenient if you have things that are ready to go. So we're talking about making it easy for you to pack when you're on your way to the trip. So have duplicates of the necessities. So I have got a Heathrow approved size bag here. And what I have in here are the necessities that I'm gonna need for every single trip. The size of this bag and all of the contents in here are things that I would need for an overnight trip or things that would fit in a carry-on. So that's um, something to consider is, you know, the length of your trip, how big is your suitcase gonna be? Where are you gonna put this? Are you gonna check your liquids or do you have to carry them on? In which case, everything has to fit in here. Everything that you need, your toiletries, your makeup, any kind of liquid form has to fit in here. So a couple of things. Take the necessities, have your shampoo, um, this is lip gloss, I've got toothpaste, I've got a, a little Bombay Sapphire bottle in there, but actually that's concentrated mouthwash. So um, I don't need a lot of it, and then I mix it with water. This is a concealer stick, deodorant, my mascara, some tubs of um, face wash, some moisturizer, foundation, hair care, and a few things about this. If you notice, all of the products are up and down. So this is a little trick that I learned by one of those traveling mistakes. So my mom and I were going to, she comes here every year, we do a Mother's Day trip. We're, we're doing our annual Mother's Day trip we're at London Stansted. They're ridiculously crazy about the amount of liquids that you take through in London Air Force, this time especially, it's crazy. So we just had our stuff kind of like thrown in these bags and um, some of the stuff wasn't even in the bag and I'm, um, I'm trying to tell her, I'm like, mom, you have to put everything, everything. So she leaves some stuff in her bag. We get called to the side. The lady was like, you know, ma'am, this doesn't fit. And the lady took everything out and she started to repack it. So she said, I've been working here for 20 years and the best way to pack up one of these bags like this is you stand everything up. You stand the big items up first and then you let the small things fall around it. So see how this bag is packed and look how much more room I have there. So that's super important. Um, also get the minis of things. So this foundation is, I got this from like the beauty counter or whatever. So put little versions of minis whenever you can and have duplicates of things. Like I've got a tiny mini serum in, in here that I use every night that I also got one at home. So those are your liquids. The other necessities that you need are for the dry stuff. So things like dun, 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 cotton balls and Q-tips. I don't know what they call them here in the UK, something. <laughs> so I don't remember. Um, so, so anyway, oh, and this is the bag. This is my toiletries bag. So if I'm going, um, Checking it, this would just go in here, doesn't matter, and then I could put even bigger things. But all of the dry stuff duplicates stay in here. So always, cotton balls and Q-tips, I don't have to think about that when I'm packing. Always, razor blades, don't have to think about it. Little um, blister band-aid things here, don't have to think about it. Lip stuff for when I go to bed, done. Don't have to think about it. Salicylic acid in case they break out. Don't think about it. Toothbrush, the top of my toothbrush. When I pack, I know that all I have to pack is the mechanical part of the toothbrush. Done, already in here. What else? Tongue scraper, already in here. <laughs> Medicine, always, if I have a headache, whoop, it's already in there. 
uh, hair ties. I have this little hair kit with um, bobby pins, the thing, always in there. Comb, always. Talc powder, always. Little gel insert things, always. And Life Pro Tip, I like to get the ones that are for high heels because they have more padding. So just in case, I don't have to think about it, always there. Dental floss, always there, I always need it. And this is like blister prevention cream. I love this stuff, by the way. It's fantastic for new shoes, it really helps. So I keep that all in there. Another thing that you wanna do is do things like this. So these are Bioderma, how do the pros do it like this? These are Bioderma wipes. And I like these because in um, real life, I use Bioderma at home, like the liquid and I put it on a pad, but these could do the same thing, but they don't count towards my liquid. So I don't have to fit this in here and I still have something to remove, Ooh, remove my eye makeup. So that stays in the dry bag. So now for every single trip, all I have to do to pack my toiletries, I keep it, I keep it in the drawer like this, just in my drawer. Whenever I have to go for a trip, it makes it super easy. I just grab this, boom, toiletries are finished. Something else, if you're going on a longer trip and you've got more space for your liquids, so you've got all this space. Another reason that you'd want larger things is because of the amount that you're gonna use. So if I'm going on a trip that's like a week, I'd probably wanna take bigger versions. I'm gonna be checking a bag anyway. Sometimes I just check a bag so I don't have to worry about it. You know, like sometimes I can't be bothered to try to fit everything in here. So I just um, stick the full size ones in there. Full size face wash that I love. Full size mask so I can little, do a little treat myself. If I'm gonna be gone for a week, I wanna do something more than a mask. This is body wash. So this is a body wash that I got from another hotel that I stayed at. This is from Edinburgh, Scotland, at the Balmoral. So whenever you stay at nice hotels, get the fancy shampoo, conditioner, nail file, shower cap, and save those things so that when you go on a trip again, those are things that you can just throw in your bag. This, I really like this bottle particularly, but if you don't like the bottle or whatever, if you just need a little one, then those are some little shampoo and conditioners that you could easily take, throw it in your little overnight bag, and then um, just throw it away when you get there. Um, so yeah, full-size stuff, another couple of things, full-size perfume, and a little wrinkle release. So all of that should still fit in here, so that even if I do go on a super long trip, Boom, and then this gets a corner in your suitcase. A couple other things to consider are the, <laughs> um, are the, the way that the bottles close. Okay, so you want to get the snap closure stuff. So when I say snap closure, I'm talking about the lid. Do you hear that snap? You wanna hear that. Because sometimes they have bottles that you, the, like you press them down here and then that part goes up. Well, you can't control that when things are moving around in your bag. What if something presses up against that? Then liquid is everywhere and then it's just a mess. So you wanna make sure that you get one that's like snaps really well. Another thing that you can do if you are on a budget and you don't wanna buy, so this is from Kiko Milano. It was like two, two pound 50 and I put Bioderma in here, that Bioderma stuff. I love this stuff. So that's um, nice bottle with the contents in it. Other things that you could do is save bottles that you like their form and function. So this was a little vitamin C, vitamin C for you Americanos out there. A little bottle that has a this kind of type and I like that. So I can do like, I could put a face wash in here or something. So keep things like that. Another thing is like this used to be a mask and I put some hair gel in it sometimes because my hair gel bottle is like gigantic and I, I can't have a squeezy thing because it's difficult, so I put it in there. Um, yeah, just these little things like lotion things. This is from Lush. This is, I don't know, you could probably, you can get them on Amazon too, the little lotion holders. You wanna, you wanna minimize everything. You wanna get as many little versions as possible. Okay, these are bags. I mentioned them earlier. They're the airport bags. So. 
Make Your Life Easy to Go Through Security, which is another video we will talk about, and you want to be as efficient as possible. Now, moving on to the makeup phase. So the this little pouch, I take it everywhere with me, even when I'm home. I like to keep my lip, lipsticks in here. This is like my little beauty bag. So I keep my dry makeup in here, the liquid makeup, mascara things, lip gloss, they go in the liquids bag. And then uh, I try to be as versatile as possible when I'm packing makeup. So this beautiful number, this is Bobbi Brown, my sister, Miss Aline, got this for me. And I like it because it has good daytime. So if I'm going somewhere like for the summertime, if I'm going to a meeting, very nice, beautiful neutrals. And then for nighttime, I've got like this, I could do a smoky eye, I could use this as eyeliner. So it's a thin palette. It's got a lot of versatility to it. And um, it's just good quality. So little blush. So this is part of my makeup routine. Again, a mini version. So another thing that you wanna do, you always make sure you wanna get a mini version of whatever you're doing. So these are little MAC mini lipsticks. For lipsticks, I keep the basics. I keep a nude, I keep a red, I keep a lip gloss, and what else do I keep? Another little mini, uh, a nail file, an eyeshadow brush. This I don't usually carry day to day, but anyway. Some hair ties, medicine, you get the idea. So that is something that I would take with me and put it in my carry-on bag. What else? Okay, uh, I think that's it. So if you have any comments or other ideas that I missed, please feel free to let me know. And thank you, and we'll have other videos coming up.